Salud Nigeria Initiative, non governmental organization, is collaborating with Nigerian police force to complement the effort of federal government in a nationwide advocacy campaign against violent violation. The federal government is doing everything possible to secure every part of Nigeria towards 2023 general elections and beyond. We are working in conjunction with the police force to create the use to do the right thing by making sure that this election is very well free. Yeah, so Nigeria. Police has made adequate arrangements to ensure that uh, no violence takes place. Poised to ensure that uh, INEC materials, both sensitive and non-sensitive, are well protected. The electorate will be equally protected, the uh, candidates as well as INEC officials and ad hoc uh, personnel are well protected. The youth as major stakeholders in the well-being of the country, it becomes imperative to advise them to ensure that uh, they avoid actions that will uh, impact negatively on the election and uh, to make sure that uh, they help to promote peace stability so that we can have a free, fair and credible election. EVSN, electoral violence is stoppable in Nigeria. CP Basil Idegu, salute Nigeria. Election violence is stoppable in Nigeria, EVSN, and I subscribe to this initiative. Nobody will tell you sorry. The same is asking you to come and fight or to come and uh, do something bad for him to achieve. Tell him to go and call it I salute Nigeria. Elections 2023, there should be no violence. Better, better, better. All we want our youth to do is to imbibe peace. So, all youth should please shun violence, not allow anybody to instigate us, put us in the streets to come and perpetrate violence against ourselves. EVSN, electoral violence. Is stoppable in Nigeria. Uluwa Funsho Kuka, salute Nigeria. To let Nigerians relax, don't panic, let's vote for the better and better Nigeria. To that, I salute Nigeria. Why engage in election violence? All these bourgeoisies, their children are not even in Nigeria. Then you will now be here fighting for them. And if anything does happen to you, they will look at you. And by the time they check into their political offices, if they do win, they will not even open the door to you. If you want this Nigeria, our country, to move forward, please show election violence. Because they will never remember you if anything happens to you. EVSN, electoral violence is stoppable in Nigeria. Nigeria youth, show violence, it pays. Not Dr. Donald Araguame, aka Donali. I salute Nigeria, my country, the only country I have. We must protect the. We shall stop electoral violence in Nigeria. I now go to Nigeria. I salute 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 Nigeria. You can see by yourself that Nigerians are desirous for a violence free election. Together, we shall stop electoral violence. EVSN, electoral violence is stoppable in Nigeria. Together, we shall stop electoral violence in Nigeria. We salute Nigeria. Say what's up with you, but before I proceed I would like that you listen very attentively Cause I'm about to tell you a story of a friend of mine A guy named Ajinika Goji of mine Hello and welcome back on the program Good Morning Abuja Yes, remember today is the 14th day of February Which means today it's Valentine's Day And we've been having an amazing time on the program so far And guess what? We are taking matters seriously now As we have and the guests one of NTA's in-house, one we like to call our own. We're talking about Chiboy. Well, of course, you know his name is Ambassador Chelo Ojirika, a.k.a. Chiboy, the Black Courage. I know you remember Chiboy from all those beautiful, wonderful videos, musical videos you, you've 
heard him is a musician he sings and he has given us those amazing beauty videos that uh, speaks to our unity and our oneness as nigeria it's a pleasure having you on the program thank you boy thank you same here yes now you're not just a musician you're not just an artist who is uh inspiring us and keeping us together with your art but now you've taken it a step further you are also advocating for free fair elections yeah yeah that's right um you know that um the 2022 general election is yes. a very sensitive one okay in the history of this country because this is the first time like yes, um, i will be having um um contestants from three major tribes of nigeria and that entails um, a lot of awareness um, um, um kind of uh, suspense everywhere that uh, ah, this election how is it gonna be like um a while are we gonna have that uh, after this election would not just cease to exist or will nigeria continue to exist uh, but the most important thing that um, get um, back to what we're doing uh, as an uh, as an individual as an organization is that um, there has been pre-electoral violence um, um, um cases okay yeah if you recall that at the end of last year we had a lot of att attacks where INEC offices had been attacked in um, Imo, Enugu, Anambra, Ogun and um, it's a kind of an um, incident it's happening um, often and often and we now said ah this is the only country we have and um, ele this election is a very sensitive one we can sit down relax and uh, allow this to be happening we just have to lend our own voice um, so, as an artist, as a Nigerian music ambassador to Germany, um, what I borrowed, I borrowed a lot from Germany actually. What, what has helped them to be what they are today, and that, that's what I've been trying to um, transfer to Nigerian policy. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, we now say that we should come up with a, um, a sensitization campaign um, against electoral violence in Nigeria, and uh, we now wrote to Nigerian police force requesting their collaboration, which they now say, wow, this is a very good one uh, that we're going to collaborate with you. And then um, since then, we started making a lot of, um, creating a lot of awareness and um, to make sure that um, um, electoral violence is caught, especially gun violence okay. during, um, before and after, after the election. Elections. Yeah. So that's what it's all about. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So, you know, you already, uh, you're, you're a voice, you're a voice that must be heard that if you voice out people must listen and that unique attribute of yours or that unique advantage of yours being put on the front burner for the peace and safety of our elections is something that's commendable but then let's come back to uh one of the things that you're championing now you're presently the convener of electoral violence is stoppable in nigeria and you just told us that this is a partnership campaign against electoral violence which states uh with salute nigeria initiative and the nigerian police yes yes Good. now let's look at this uh evsn electoral violence is stoppable in, in nigeria. nigeria yes do you and uh, do you believe that it's stoppable? yes it is stoppable because we are nigerians everything is achievable in nigeria that okay. no challenge cannot be that cannot be overcome in nigeria by nigerians okay um all we need to do is to continue to create the awareness and let people know that hey election is not do or die affair okay that um, after the election nigeria must continue to exist after the election we must continue to be my brother after the election we must continue to do our businesses so it is stoppable and the strategies we've put in place using the power of music even that music is a powerful tool for information dissemination okay. in the history of mankind so we're using the power of music to sensitize the nigerian people especially the young people because the young people are the ones that are being used to perpetrate the, those acts of violence okay. so um by the time we push them using the power of music to bring them out from their venous homes you know sensitize play music to them they sing along and now there'll be lecture that, that, that will be followed with it and workshops then um um awards will be given to selected youths okay. as role models okay. so that they will take this campaign back to their various local governments uh, and um, areas to let people know that hey 
Nigeria first before any other, yeah. any other thing. Right. So I believe, and we all believe that electoral violence is stoppable in Nigeria. That's why we call EVSN. Okay. Electoral violence is stoppable in Nigeria. And together, we shall have a violence free election in Nigeria. Right. And it's going around, it's going around. Um, programs have been scheduled for, to, to. Yes, I wanted us. to talk about those yeah. programs now. Yes. When you said you are putting in a lot of things and you already have some things going, you mentioned that. Uh, uh, you, there's a lot you're, you're putting in place to bring about this sensitization yeah. and uh, the different campaigns you do from here in the FCT yeah. uh, to regions down to states and local government. But the time is so short. Yes. There's just uh, about 12, 13 days to election. How do you hope to achieve all this in so yeah, short it is, time? It is actually, the time is short, but it's, it is packaged to, for it to be effective okay. with the shortness of time. All right. In the sense that the event is scheduled, the, the, um, the summit is scheduled for the 23rd of, the, of February. Okay. That is two days to the presidential okay. election. The idea is for it to be very, very um, fresh in the mind of people. Now, on that 23rd of, um, of February, where the summit is taking place, we are going to have people are going to be speakers with the topic, the peaceful election we desire. Okay. That is the theme of that. And um, discussions will also discuss discussions will come from different uh, set of, um, of um, um, endeavors from the civil society organization, from the religious and political leaders, from the um, 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 youth leaders as well. Okay. They'll all be there and they'll be discussing on that. Now, immediately after, after that, don't forget that after the presidential election on the 25th, on the 11th of March, we'll have the governorship, Keep the election. house, uh, yes. The, uh, yes. So immediately after the twenty third of the twenty third event and the election takes place on twenty fifth, by twenty seven, twenty eight, we are already starting the siege of political zones. Okay. The strategy is that in every zone, we, we have all the youth in that particular particular zone will come to a particular center of okay. that particular. Uh, for example, we choosing for example we choosing national state to represent the north central. Okay. So all the states. In, in North Central, will converge in Lafia. So, if we're going to uh, North um, West, all the states in North West will converge in Kaduna, for example. Okay. So, that's how we want to do. We want to make it a way that it's going to be very fresh in the minds of people. As uh, you know, the euphoria will be will be uh, mind blowing, and so it will be very very effective. Oh. And uh, in FCT, why the FCT? The AMAC Abuja represent the unity of this country. Okay. That's why the summit is taking place, and we have the AMAC. Um, 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 administration led by um, Christopher Mekalagu mm -hmm. and the rest are all going to be there. They are supporting it because um, if uh, um, Abuja is not stabilized, or uh, let's say FCT is not stabilized, by extension Nigeria is not stabilized. Oh, that is why we're starting with um, um, the FCT to, um, for the summit, and thereafter we'll not take it to the uh, other, other, um, uh, other the city political zones. And the event will feature a lot of, um, we expect to have in attendance the Inspector General of Police himself, under the chairmanship of former Inspector General of Police, uh, Michael Kiro, is also going to be there, and INEC um, will be represented, uh, fully represented to participate. INEC is going to bring a lot of materials that, that has to do with uh, electoral violence, where they use it to sensitize people. So it is well packaged, and it's not going to feature um, the, um, um, members of diplomatic corps, um, all the friends, associates of Nigeria are uh, expected to be there. The media mainly, because nothing happens without the media. Of course. That's why you people are there. Yes, so, and yeah. we will be there to, to cover and, of course, bring the information that you're going to be passing from yeah. there to our viewers so yes. that we will all stay informed. Unfortunately, we are running out of time and so we would have to call it uh, a day on this segment of the yeah. program. But, uh, of course, we wish you all the best as you continue to spearhead this campaign. Thank you. We all look forward to a peaceful election yeah. and uh, a process that bets in the new leadership of our dear I also yeah. want you to, together with me, let's do the, 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 the slogan of EVSN. All right. Now, I'm going to say EVSN, you stay with me. EVSN, electoral violence is stoppable in Nigeria. So let's look at Nigeria all and right, look at them. All right, all right. EVSN, electoral violence, violence is stoppable, stoppable in, in Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> yes. And it's on that note that we'll be taking a short break. When we return, good morning, Abuja, the program continues. Please stay with us. <laughs> 